Well, a warning tonight from an East Tennessee real estate agent. Beware of fake ads on Facebook Marketplace. Yeah, the site is a community-oriented service to bring regular people together to buy and sell. But as WATE 6 on your side, consumer reporter Don Dare explains, if you don't know what to look for, mm. Facebook Marketplace can also be a scammer's paradise. It sure can be. A fake ad almost cost two families close to $4,000. Wow. That's a lot of money. Facebook Marketplace has been around for over a decade. It's a very popular site for realtors who want to stay competitive. On Facebook Marketplace, you can find apartments for houses for rent as well as houses for sale. It has no built-in payment system and it requires that you have a Facebook profile to use the service. But snapping a photo, posting and selling is so simple that scammers are taking advantage of people who are not aware of fake ads. You're the listing agent on this house that's for sale? Yes, sir, I am. We're asking $215,000 for it. Deanna Rader called us because she was concerned by what could have happened to unsuspecting families. She's the agent for this ready-to-move-in house that's for sale in East Knoxville. A few days ago, she got a call from a couple. When they had drove by the house and saw my phone number on the sign, and they wanted to know if they could come look at the house for rent, they had seen it on Facebook Marketplace for $900 a month. For rent? For rent, yes. And it's not for rent? No, sir. It's not. It's for sale. So this is our listing. Claudia Stallings is vice president of residential sales for Coldwell Banker Wallace & Wallace Realtors. She says images of the house listed by Mrs. Rader were cloned by a scammer who claimed he was running the place. Typically, when we see scams like this, they are asking a very reasonable rent rate to encourage more phone calls. And 900 a month is... Pretty good. 900 is pretty good. She says the fake rental ad appeared on Facebook Marketplace for a couple of days before it was taken down. With more than 90% of buyers using the internet to find homes, realtors have to market them online. That makes uh, the ability to, to pick up images of the house and to present it as if these photos were your own uh, perhaps a little bit easier. I'm a deaf man and I have been transferred here for a job on a contract. And this text message sent by the scammer claims he's out of state and has the key. He writes, unfortunately there will be no in-house tour of the home so prospective renters would have to peek through the window. They're getting rent, they're getting deposits, uh, and then they leave the person who has sent that to them high and dry. They never return their phone calls, they never actually produce keys because this is not their house to rent. This is the rental questionnaire that he sent as part of the um, rental paperwork. Several people called Deanna Rader about renting the home and she quickly told them about the hoax. It's a sad situation that some people do fall prey for this. And I've had the two callers say they almost sent their money in. Uh, the scammers were asking for $1,850 you know, to send in to get the keys to the house to rent it. Here are some red flags. The would-be owner is out of state. Because the owner has the key, you won't be able to see inside the house. And you'll have to wire money, and you'll be sent the key. And all correspondence is by text. Legitimate, honest deals can be found on Facebook Marketplace. But when it comes to buying a house, work with a professional, a licensed real estate agent. Facebook Marketplace, Craigslist, anywhere the general public, when you don't have to have a real estate license and you can list your own property, that's when consumers really should be extra aware when making contact. So how do you know what to look for? If you are buying on Facebook Marketplace, make sure that a seller has a full Facebook profile. If they only have a couple of pictures, no pictures at all, no friends, or if the profile was created, say, just last week, forget about it. If you come across a fishy listing, report it to Facebook Marketplace. And Lori and Bo once reported these mm -hmm. phony scams are taken down pretty quickly by Facebook. That's good to know. Yes. Yeah, got to get All them right. down. Be right. careful. Yes, definitely. Thank you, Don. And if you have a consumer question for Don, send him an email at ddare at wat.com. You can also call a six on your side hotline number. It's at 865-633-5974.